Hi, this is Peter Tush, Curator of Education at the Dollar Museum. And today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about our painting, The Hallucinogenic Toreador. And this is going to be the first in the series of talks that uh, some of our different staff members will be sharing on Wednesdays with you, focusing on key aspects of our collection. So today I'm going to be talking about perhaps our best known painting, The Hallucinogenic Toreador. And this is the painting here painted over a 16 month period. It was a painting that summarized a lot of Dolly's career when he knew he was about to focus on building his museum. So some of the main elements and ideas from Dolly's entire career resurface in this painting in a real tour de force by the artist. And what I'm gonna focus on today are some of the hidden illusions that Dolly has created. And the first one and the obvious one is the hidden face right in the center. And just very quickly, it was inspired by a box of Venus pen uh, pencils. And the Venus pencils were manufactured by the American Pencil Company. This is a box right here. And within the shadows of the contours of the Venus de Milo on that box, Dolly saw what looked like a face. And this is what he devoted himself for the 16 month period was translating and transferring the space into an illusion that we all could see, but that also connected with his career over the course of his life. And of course, the Toreador is essential to the idea of um, Spanish culture. And what Dolly has done on the left, on the right hand side, you can see a detail of that central Venus. You can see the way that the, the robe has that green shadow, which becomes uh, the bullfighter's tie. You can see the, the small button right above that. And then you can see the shadow across the belly and abdomen, the shadow under the breast, and the shadow across the face of the Venus de Milo, which form the features of the lips, chin, nose, and eye of a bullfighter. This is a study that's owned by the uh, Teatro Museo Dali, Dali's museum in Spain. And you can see much more clearly the illusion that Dolly conceived of in his imagination. You can see more clearly the lips, the nose, and the two eyes of the bullfighter. Plus you can see how the ear fits right over the shoulder of that Venus de Milo who's turned her back on us. Um, you can also see where the red cape becomes the cape over his shoulder, and you can see clearly where the tie fits in. So if you compare this with the detail of our painting, it becomes a little obscure the more fully formed the oil painting became, but you can definitely still, still see the original illusion that Dolly was attempting. But as we look a little further, I wanna point out a second bullfighter that may not be as familiar to you. Uh, doesn't get pointed out on all tours at the museum, but if we look at these three details from the painting, on the left-hand side, there's a detail of a silhouette of a bullfighter surrounded with a yellow halo. And it's the shape of the yellow halo which actually forms the shape of another Venus. So if you look at the central detail, the Venus with the red robe, if you look at the shape of that Venus, it more or less corresponds to the yellow halo on the left-hand side. You know, for example, the yellow that surrounds the bullfighter's cape, which he's holding up to the uh, top, basically dedicating the bullfight to Gala, who's in the upper side of the painting, you can see how that cape corresponds to the shadow of the red robe Venus in the middle. Same with the two arms. You can see the arms are the shadow on the outside and the inside of the elbow in that central Venus. And then if we look at the three details of three white Venuses at the bottom of the canvas, that's the, the detail of the painting on the right hand side, inside the red squares, you can see that the black shadow looks almost exactly like the black, the figure that we have on the left-hand side, just done as an all-black silhouette. So it's a pretty remarkable process. Dolly finds both the face and an entire body within the same Venus de Milo. And I wanna point out just two more things. Um, the first of which is that there's two hidden Venuses that are very hard to see if you look at this painting up close in the gallery, but I wanna help you to see them now. So if we have this detail of the bullfighters, uh, I mean the, the bull is Leto at the bottom. You can see him in this pool of water instead of a pool of blood. And you can see all those brightly colored dots that are emerging out of his body. 
just to the right of those dots, you can start to see the first of the two Venuses that are hidden within this configuration. So in this next slide, this is a detail of the bottom left-hand side of the canvas. There's a cubist chair by Juan Gris, and Dolly has superimposed a brown Venus to Milo, and then a second Venus, a white Venus at the, above her without a head. And the image on the right-hand side in this slide is the image of the Venus of Empurius found in the museum in Barcelona that Dolly was familiar with. So he's combined this Venus with the Venus de Milo in this detail on the left. And if we go back to those brightly colored dots above the bull, you can see in the red and the green square on this slide, the Venus de Milo and the Venus of Empurius basically drawn in right above the bull and those brightly colored dots. And then the last illusion to draw your attention to is the Dalmatian at the bottom of the canvas. This is a detail of it. This is the shape that looks very much like a pattern created by light passing through that bottle, body of water that's around the bowl. And if you look at it quickly, you assume this is just a pattern created by light going through water. But of course, this is a, a hidden image of a Dalmatian. The inspiration for it, very much like the inspiration for the bullfighter himself, was pop culture. Dolly had a 1965 copy of Life Magazine. This is the page in Life Magazine, and there's a photo by Ronald James of a Dalmatian in a spotted space. And he situated the photograph so that it became a visual guessing game. Can you find the Dalmatian in the spotted room? And Dolly loved it so much, he actually put it into his own canvas and copied it, and it becomes another type of visual guessing game. There are many hidden illusions inside of this painting. These are four of them. Hopefully uh, there was something here that uh, was new to you and hope you enjoyed this and we'll tune in every Wednesday to hear more of these at the Salvador Dali Museum. Thanks.